It's the third referendum in Uzbekistan's history and one that could revise two-thirds of the government's constitution, extending President Mirzayoyev's term from five to seven years. In the lead-up to voting day, campaigning intensified and media censorship grew. Celebrities were hired at concerts to give the vote legitimacy and hype up citizens for when polls open. I look forward for this referendum. My vote can help solve big issues. Since every vote is important, I will give mine for my people and for myself too. First of all, I believe that positive results will be reached if changes are made in the judicial system and to serve the people's interests. Following the death of radical predecessor Islam Karimov, Shafkat Mirzayoev came to power in 2016 and led a series of reforms abolishing forced labor in cotton fields. The crackdown lifted sanctions on Uzbek cotton, which had been boycotted by international brands. Though seen as a great victory of the Mirzayoev era, activists say rights abuses persist and political opposition has yet to appear. Originally planned for 2022, the referendum was postponed after deadly protests kicked off in the Karakal, Pakistan region following amendments proposing to remove the republic's right to secede. Now an overhaul of the constitution could improve governance and the quality of life of the 35 million people who live in Uzbekistan and allow for Shafkat Mirzayoev to run for office twice more after his term ends in 2026. To the US now.